Hey there TRW crew, Matt Lasallo here with the rhinestoneworld.com. So this video is going to show you something brand new and probably one of the first iPad mini rhinestone cases that you've seen out there. So we always like to do something before everybody else and try and make something unique. Now this is a fully customized rhinestone case for the iPad mini. So this is the iPad mini here that just came out. And we have our case here that we just picked up at a local Best Buy. And we're going to go ahead and bling the entire case up with our bling anything sheets that we have available on the website at therhinestoneworld.com. So as you can see, there's two different shades of purple on the case here. So what we did is we measured it out and we can just easily adjust the bling anything sheets like you've seen in our videos of how you can just cut them with scissors. And we're going to use the amethyst stones for the darker purple. And then we're going to use our tanzanite purple stones for the little bit lighter purple just to get the two shades like the case has here. So as you can see, very easy to just wrap it around. So we got that all wrapped around good. Let's go ahead and apply some pressure to it. Now because this is a pretty hard surface leather case like this and it's a nice, um, nice flat surface, the bling anything sheets will adhere to it good. So you aren't going to have any issues with that. You just want to make sure it's not something that's going to crease or bend because obviously the iPad mini is not going to bend around and crease. This case is going to stay good like this and it'll, it'll stay very um, good for the bling anything sheets as far as not having to worry about rhinestones falling off and everything. So we got the first part of our bling anything sheets onto the case. As you can see, it looks great there. That is the amethyst stones that we have available on the website. And now let's go ahead and show you how we get to that process with the other part. So this is a little bit harder part and we'll show you the process of this in the video here. So here is one of our bling anything sheets. This is actually one of our six by eight sheets. So as you can see, the sheet's a little bit bigger than the actual iPad mini case. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to trim the bling anything sheet up a little bit. So we're just measuring it right along the side of how big we want it on the case. And we're just going to find that row of stones to where we want to cut it to where it's going to fit perfect. Now because the stones are all aligned perfectly on the bling anything sheet, it's very easy to just trim it in a perfect line because all the stones are lined up. Your scissors are just going to find that crease right between the rhinestones. So as you can see, everything is lined up for our width there. And this is our tanzanite stones, like I was saying, that we have available on the website. It's a nice kind of bright, lighter purple. Uh, very good looking um, very good looking color. One of our favorite colors that we use in the purple designs. Use them a lot on our darker shirts if we're using black shirts or black tote bags, things like that. Because the purple just shows up a little bit better than that dark amethyst. So now we're just going to get the width of the design right here. So again, just going to grab our scissors, cut it right down the line. Very easy to cut, perfectly straight line because it's going right in between those stones. And it looks like we have it pretty set up here. So we got our height perfect. We got the width perfect. As you can see, we got the two shades of purple now on all the stones. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to, because it's coming to a right edge there, we're just going to trim off a stone right there off the edge just so it rounds around that corner a little bit as you can see on the iPad mini case it's kind of rounded around the corner right there and that's going to allow it so that uh, bling anything sheet isn't sticking off the ed edge to be able to get caught on anything so we're actually going to trim two more stones off the edge there just to get it to round a little bit more so as you can see very easy to customize these sheets and move things around and it looks like we were about one row of stones too wide so again we can just trim them right down here and actually it looks like it's just some of our bling anything sheet was off the edge there so we're not even trimming a row of stones it's just a little bit more of the adhesive that was off the edge of the sheet there so everything's looking like it's lined up perfect now Looks like it's going to fit right next to those amethyst stones, right in the crease of the iPad mini case. And it looks like there's a little one stone that might be hanging off the edge there. So we're just going to trim that one off real quick. That looks better on that end. 
And the cool thing is the magnet actually is still going to be strong enough to where it attaches, even though the stones are right there. So that makes it real cool because we don't have to, if we had to and we wanted to, we could cut out that little bit of square where the magnet attaches. But because the magnet still does get a strong enough hold to be able to close it, we don't even have to do that and it'll make it look even better. So we're just pulling the carrier sheet off the adhesive here of the Bling Anything sheet. And we are going to go ahead and apply it. So pretty easy to apply. We're just going to grab each corner here and we're just going to line them up perfectly with the amethyst stones that we did before. Just so it looks like it's all one continuous sheet when it's on your iPad mini case. And once we get this lined up perfectly, then we're going to go ahead and start giving it a little bit of pressure to be able to get that adhesive to get a nice bond to the actual case. So that looks good there. Now we're just going to go over it, get a nice good bond on the adhesive there. And this side of the case looks like it is all done and that is looking awesome. So each one of these sheets has right at over 3,500 stones. So this entire case is going to have somewhere around 7,000 stones on it once we're completed. But as you can see, we're done with that side. Now this side's gonna be a little bit harder because obviously we're gonna have to cut a hole in where that camera area is. So as you can see, the camera on the iPad mini and the camera on the case there has that little hole. Obviously we can't leave that hole covered up or else you're not gonna be able to use your camera or the video camera on the iPad mini. So let's go ahead and get this lined up just like we did before we still had it we already had it cut to the width because we're using the same sheet as far as the height of the ipad mini now we're just got to get the width of where we're putting it in so we just found that we're going to trim it right down the middle here so that's perfect right there and then of course because the ipad mini case at those corners it rounds a little bit we're going to do the same thing we did with the other one and we're going to trim off a little bit of that edge just so that one stone there isn't hanging off the edge that one looks good there let's trim this one here and that one looks good there now another alternative to do something like this is to place each stone individually so if you do that and you're placing each stone individually with glue you're looking at hours and hours of work here. So, I mean, with these Bling Anything sheets, requires a pair of scissors, cut it up a little bit. But then other than that, it is probably a 15, 20 minute process to do the entire thing. So as you can see, we put the sheet on right over the, right over the circle of the camera lens. And I'm gonna show you in a minute how we cut that off. But let's go ahead and get our flap covered up here. Now this is our uh, magnet flap and we're just going to use one of our strips here from the 6x8 sheet that we had. Got it all measured out and we're just going to throw it right there on that flap because we want the entire thing blinged up as far as the outside of this case just to make it look great. So we're looking good there. Let's wrap it around to the front should be right near the edge perfect of course we're matching the stones with the tanzanite just so it looks good and that is completely done so we're completely done with the outside of the case now the only thing we need to do is we need to open up that camera circle as far as where our video camera and the camera for the iPad mini is going to go so we're just getting that adhesive good in that crease right there as you can see the magnet still attaches good right through the stones even though the stones are there so it is a pretty strong magnet that we have on the case here which worked out great in this situation because we didn't have to cut an extra square in there so now as you can see iPad mini looks great in here you can see the stones perfectly on the outside there all around. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take this iPad mini out and you can see right there, there's our hole for our camera. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get an X-Acto knife and we're gonna go ahead and trim this. So you do need to be careful when you're doing this part. As you can see, we have a nice sharp X-Acto knife here and we're just pushing it from the inside out. So it's cutting through and it's cutting through that adhesive and we're just trimming a little circle around it. So 
So you definitely want to be careful not to cut into your leather part of your iPad mini case because obviously it's going to cut a little hole in it. So just be careful when you're cutting out this little circle here. You're just going to cut between the stones and you can see kind of in the video there you can see that spacing of the adhesive material and you're just going to cut right through that adhesive material between the stones and then you're going to form that circle so it's perfect right around the uh, circle there for the iPad camera to show through. You don't want anything kind of hanging over the edge because you're going to obviously see that in your pictures or your videos that you shoot with the iPad mini. So we're going to get this nice and cleared out here with a nice looking circle and then once we get this hole popped out right here we are going to be completely done with this iPad mini case with the with the rhinestones, it's going to have, like I said, it's going to have over 7,000 rhinestones on it. So it's going to look awesome, something very unique, and something that isn't out there yet, but something you do have the ability to do with our Bling Anything sheets. So we are going to sell the Bling Anything sheets in some different colors. We just released the um, all crystal off the start. So we are going to give more options for colors and that's why we wanted to show something like this where we're using the two different shades of purple because we do have about 30 to 35 different colors on the website and we'll be adding more soon as well. So there we go. Looks like that is looking pretty good. We got our circle completely cut right there. Let's see if it's... Looks like that should show everything pretty perfectly and we can maybe trim off one more little piece there you can see there's one more stone there that we could probably get off just have to be careful on this part like i was saying just not to cut your um, leather case and once we get off this last little stone here then it will completely open up that circle so if you have to go a little bit above or outside the circle that's fine it's still going to look great but you definitely don't want any stones actually hanging over and blocking the view of the camera or the video. So there we go. You can see the hole looks perfect there. Still got the stones all around it. Let's go ahead and throw our iPad mini back in our case here. And we're going to show you what it's going to look like here. So we're going to fit this right back in nice and easy. We can go ahead and close it up. Magnet still works. Everything is looking good. As you can see, the magnet will just snap back in place still, which is good. And we are completely done with this iPad mini rhinestone case. Camera's gonna show through perfectly there. Not gonna have any blockage as far as the rhinestones covering it. And we used, again, our amethyst, Korean low lead stones, and our tanzanite. Korean low lead stones. These are all the three millimeter or SS10 stones that we do have available on the website www.therhinestoneworld.com and let's go ahead and show you what this looks like outside just so you can see the actual bling factor. So there we go. We're outside with our case here. As you can see when this case hits the sun it's going to light up in the sun. Something very cool and when you carry this around Whatever color case you get, you can try to match it with the different rhinestones and something that's just going to look great, look unique, and bring attention to your business. So this is a case that we'll probably use when we go to different events and things and something that's just going to look very unique and bring even more attention when we're processing credit cards or doing anything at our events or anything outside or in public where people are seeing these. So if you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. Shoot us an email, info at therhinestoneworld.com or just visit the website at www.therhinestoneworld.com. Again, this is Matt and we look forward to working with you soon. You guys have a great day.